Yes, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba, my good brother here, Kofi Bruce. And he is the relationship expert. Mm -hmm. huh? Do they call you Dr. Kofi Bruce? <laughs> nah, but, I'm no doctor. I'm no expert. <laughs> did you have to give some relationship advice to brothers and sisters, right? Nah, I don't really have no advice. <laughs> I, I, keep, <laughs> I, I, I keep my advice to myself. You know, a lot of people like a lot a lot of people like to give advice, but um, you know, when it comes down to relationships, um, everyone's plug don't fit into any socket. Wow, so, break that down, my yeah, brother. If, yeah, so you know, it's it's it, it depends on, on on the connection that you're trying to make. So um, I'm not I'm not no relationship. You know, I don't I don't know about you. You may be excellent. Yes, our uh, family. Uh, but uh, yes, we're gonna definitely go into that. Now, so my brother, what are some of the wonderful things you love about the sisters on African content and the sisters here in Black America? As far as relationships, meeting, dating, connecting? In general? Yes, absolutely. You lived in America and you've been to Ghana twice and you've experienced the energy of the beautiful ladies there. I mean, it... it, it and you, you, know, don't, you don't have to go into details. This is a oh, no, 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 PG-13. No, 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 I'm not going into details. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, from, from, from my experience, it just depends on your circle that you travel with. You know, it, it, you know. You, you you should never go, man. You should never go outside your circle. You you know what you can handle. You know what you like. You know what's good for you. You know what's bad for you. You know, a lot of us tend to go outside our circle, and uh, that's when we run into trouble. So, you know, as far as like African women and uh, American black women, it's it's the difference is culture. You know, you know that's that's one thing. But women are women. You know, you know it's 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 one connecting bond that all women share you know I'm, I'm not gonna say what that is or you know I can't even explain it but it doesn't matter what part of the earth they're from women have one connecting way that they are <laughs> perfect so, perfect uh, but people probably say that you're beating around something mm, you have to figure it out for yourself <laughs> uh, he's not gonna give you all of the answers no <laughs> we get some family I'm sorry and as, as you are traveling around to a country like Ghana, um, you mentioned you like some, you, you mentioned you see the, the more traditional energy mm -hmm. of uh, women in relationships and family setting. Yeah, I mean, just... Do you see like, the opposite of that here in uh, black America? Um, yeah, it, it just depends on your circle, you know, because a lot of uh, black women here are socialized by American culture and how Americans are supposed to think. So when you go to Africa, the way the African women think is not how an American women think. But then, like I said, they all share this same womanhood thing. So you just have to learn women. <laughs> you yeah, know, I'm perfect. Yeah, you just have to learn women. So any preference of uh, shade, uh, chocolate, uh, brown sugar, caramel? No, that 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 is. It just depends on the the the, the, the vibration. That vibration is singular, you know, it, it's not based on a skin color. It's based on like a spiritual, emotional, yeah, so I don't have no preference. Oh, perfect. So what about... Uh, as far as skin color. What, perfect. As far as... So what about uh, vanilla with blonde hair? No. It's, it's, <laughs> no vi it's no vibration there. So I'm not going to force that. It's, it's no kind of, you know, it's nothing that's vibing. The, the vibes is off, so it's, it's like demagnetized magnets that just don't hit. That's just me. So, perfect. Now, yeah. uh, let, let's talk about some of the, the specifics now. Do uh, you like women with uh, natural hair or women with weaves or women with just, uh, with no hair? Um, I don't discriminate against weaves. You don't discriminate. <laughs> it, it, it depends on the weave, though. I mean, I don't like weaves. I prefer natural hair, but if you're going to do a weave, do a good weave. <laughs> I mean, I really don't like it, but if you're in that mind state where you're really not sure, you know, you have a little consciousness. But now, what is a good weave? <laughs> I mean, don't, I, I don't want to know it's a weave. <laughs> so, yeah, you got you to gotta put the work in. If you're going to do it, I prefer oh, not, not to do the weave. You know, I like all natural hair, you know, whatever, even if you want to shave it down because it's nothing more beautiful than you in your natural state. But, you know, I, I, I know the way the world is today is, is more people that don't live in their natural state. So, 
and like I said, it's all about it's all about that connection, that vibration. So we're perfect. Uh, yeah, I see, I've seen a lot of real nice, lovely ladies, but then you know, I see that uh, that uh, fur, that uh, <laughs> hair, hair, that that, uh, that thing on their hair, and right. it, it throws me off. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm one of the ones that's gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna. You know, not, get rid of uh, weave. I'm gonna burn out all the weave plantation. Yeah. You know what I um I always thought was funny. You know, when I see someone with a bad weave, <laughs> like you know, I'm looking at. I'm them. not with a bad weave. <laughs> I mean, but you know, you see, you see them before, but like when you're looking at them and you say, "Did this person actually look at themselves in the mirror?" Like. I'm not sure, is the weave supposed to look fake like head hair or is it, is it well, supposed to be it, like a deception? I'm, I'm not sure. I, 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 don't, I don't know man because I'm anti-weave, you know, you know, and I love my, my natural cultural sisters. So, yeah, you know, I'm anti-weave too, yeah, yeah, especially so, like if you, you have know, blonde you know, weaves and, and all these. And on the dates, you know, we have to just keep it real because uh, if you end up uh, sneaking one on me, you'll wake up with your hair cut off. <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, that is a... Uh, so what else? Uh, so you like everything else real though? Cause nowadays people are you know, shooting up all kind of stuff. You know, fake butts. That's like uh, that's like that's crazy. Cause you know, I'm I'm used to being in Africa where women got the fine, perfect shape. You know, family, <laughs> all natural, straight from the village. You know what I mean, family? Eating them yams, eating you know, all the <laughs> cultural food and everything, family. Just like you know, we are strong black men just eating. You know, from from you know, the garden of Eden. You know, mm -hmm. Eden. You know. And nowadays you have people, you know, eating fake food, you know, well, all the food is kind of like, have all kind of steroids in it, so right. you, you're seeing women that are just, just blown up in all kind of places, and then I guess, you know, you, you have technology now, so you just go to your surgeon, and then you can look like any anything you want, you can just create your perfect body. I know, I don't, Unbelievable. I, yeah, I don't yeah, like, so, I don't like anything fake. I anything don't like fake, anything, so, yeah, I don't know, like we, anything we, fake. we got a war against fakeness right there, because family, you know what are you telling our children? It's you know and you know and you know so brothers like ourselves, we don't date women with a bunch of fake stuff because you know we're gonna you know we don't I mean, empower that. If your hair fake, your eyes fake, your teeth fake, your breasts fake, your butt fake, your stomach fake, what you is fake? Yeah. So <laughs> what's know? real? What you know? So my point is like, what's real about you? Right. How can you come to me and try and and I, I see that you like a, a real genuine person when everything about you on the outside, the outside is supposed to project what's going on in the inside. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, realistically, I know, you know, and we're not trying to be funny. You know, I know we're joking a little bit about certain things, but the psychology of the situation is real deep. I mean, this is just really psychology. I mean, if you psychologically feel that you're going to change and convert your entire body, then how would we really feel that you have anything real in your heart? Right. I mean, it just don't make any sense. So, you know, I'm encouraging my brothers uh, to join us on this, uh, you know, this, this fake strike and just, you know, to protest and stand up and uh, just tell our sisters that you know we love you and you're natural even if you gotta cut your hair off even if your, your ass ain't as fat as this everybody else and it's you know, it's what it is you now we want to love you it's for who you are you know whenever I, uh, I think <coughs> sisters I usually uh, just tell them straight up that you know you know I just appreciate them you know appreciate you for who you are you know I'm not here to you know to, to have you know because obviously you know if that was the case I would go find with what I'm looking for based on me telling you what you need to do or you need to get your breasts need to be larger, your ass need to be fatter, your waist need to be thinner, I mean, your hair need to be longer. You know, it's just, it just ridiculous. You know, we have to get back to the point where we love people for who our creator made them for. Right. Know? And me, you know, it's, it, this is who I am. You know, you see me in the flesh. The, you know, strong black warrior looking for, you know, Miss Black Wonderful, my Pan-African Warrior Queen. Uh, and you can flip those words uh, all different ways, but you know, we're just looking to build with real black sisters, real African warrior women, you know. So our sisters around the globe, you know. So some people are in business where they gotta do what they have to do. I'm not here to knock nobody hustle, but I'm saying at the same time to black men like me, uh, we're about nation building and looking to build a strong black family, a strong black nation. We don't, you know, you know, we don't support that energy because we don't want our daughters growing up to think that's okay for them to be that way. Now, so it's it's a rough situation, but you have to you know we have to le learn to lead by example. Right. You know, so so serious. get back to your own nature, your own natural uh, standards of beauty, because right now it's it's out of hand. Because you know European men love fake. Yeah, they invented this stuff, man. Right. So you know we just follow what they do. So now our women think that that's what we want, but a lot of black men 
they go for the fake European. So the, the, the black women get a lot, you know, confused, plus they bombarded with, you have to have long hair, have to be straight, and all these different names that they have for it, Hawaiian, silky, silky, five, five, So that's why I'm honestly Indian blaming it. Yeah. Lot, that's why I'm honestly, I'm honestly blaming this on a lot of our brothers. Y'all need to stop that foolishness and Cut stop supporting them those fake women and stop giving them money to go get the weave and get all that fake stuff on them. You know what I mean? If we, if we don't stand up and be respectful, then our women are just going to do whatever. And that's, you know what I mean? And that's realistic of it. So, right, because... They're going to stop investing that. Because that. black standards of beauty for women is not just up to the women to change that. It's up to the men. You know, we have to do our part. And like you said, stop supporting it. You know, y'all know y'all don't like that. You know, it's, it's, it's a visual thing. You know, you know you don't want to wake up and somebody got no teeth, bald head. You know, like, remember that movie, I'm going to get you, sucker? Yo, my <laughs> brother, that is the perfect example. <laughs> right. And you know what? Th them brothers are onto something. Right. How many years ago was that? Well, I, was, I, was like, I, was, I was very young. I was like a teenager. And I thought that was funny, but I didn't know that that it was, was real, real life. Right. It was really going on in life. I just yeah. thought that was a joke that nah. people would put on fake stuff as a, you know, as a young boy. Right. But then I just grew up in this world where it's like, wow. Uh, so, my brothers uh, who are doing music videos and things and doing whatever, you guys are, you know, you guys and maybe all of us are all to blame for a reason why some of our women have chose these paths to think that this is the standard of beauty, putting on all kind of fake stuff. You know, I go to different parts of Africa, especially like, you know, Ethiopia and Ghana. You know, you go and, to the villages, the finest what? woman family. And the most beautiful, finest women i ever seen in my life wore no makeup. All natural family. Wear no makeup. Yeah. None. And I'm talking about beautiful from the outside and inside. None. And they were beautiful, like you just said, from the outside and inside because they got that way from their culture and from eating, you know, natural foods and things like that. So, you know, you don't have to be fake and, you know, try and... I don't know. It's, it's like trying to perpetrate a fraud on, on, on people, you know, if, if that's not what you really look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, it, and people could go... To the extreme with it too. Yeah, so. I mean, I mean, it's honestly, it's fake, it's fake, false presentation. It's kind of <laughs> like you know, if you know, if someone was, you know, was, was stepping out looking, you know, they're a man and they're looking for a woman, and that person looks like doesn't look like what they they they, they they're showcasing. And, and, you, and you know, that's yeah. exactly. I remember one time this guy was selling a a, a Porsche. His body, <laughs> everything was a Porsche, but it had like a Toyota engine. <laughs> <laughs> he had this some kind of craziness with it. So that's what it's like when y'all wear all this fake stuff, you know, you, you dressing yourself up like a Porsche, but you just a, a, a Honda or a Toyota. But, you know, if you're a Honda or a Toyota, be it the best Honda or a Toyota, you yeah, know I mean, what I'm saying? Don't, don't try to be a Honda trying to be a Porsche because you're not that. <laughs> yeah, because people are going to be, obviously when people find out, they're going to be, you know, pissed off. Right. I mean, that's the reality of it. So I'm always telling people, uh, just like, you know, when we do our business as far as our tours and everything, and uh, different businesses do everything is just laid out there so people can see the full presentation mm -hmm. and make a respectable decision based on a presentation that's what it is really right. um so you know i gotta just you know you gotta be careful man you know, as a matter of fact i, I know what that is that is a sim your, your, your signal going off you know, <laughs> we got a secret mission we got a few weed plants oh yeah you, got, you, got, you, got, you, got to, you don't want to be here to y'all uh, oh man i don't know what that is all right yeah, you don't want to hear the secret plan that we're about to go out. Uh, we got about several different uh, weave plants we're about to blow up. <laughs> so in about two months, uh, there'll be no weave available. No weave available. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? So what you gonna do? You're gonna have to cut them things out and then go it from the natural roots, my youth. What did black women do before weave? Remember they used to wear afros and... Oh man, the afros, yo, right. the afros, afro pumps and braids, you know, you know, and they look good. I'm always thinking about like fine Pam Greer. Right, you remember know, before weave? Power. Remember, yeah. be remember before weave, you got before weave and then you got after weave. Just, just think of how the culture was before weave, think of how the culture was after weave. It was more unity before weave, after weave, <laughs> we just like this. Don't think weave don't have nothing to do with it. No, weave is actually one of the originators of everything else because once you start doing a fake hair, then the lips come. The lips. You know, then the, the ass eyes, injections the come. The, you know the, the skin the color, the skin color. Upgrade from the you know from the from the C cup, uh, cup to the double D's and other the other letters and, and more and more. Right. And, and then it it does get out of control and ridiculous. And they got bra sizes nowadays that didn't even exist like 20 years ago. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But the wild thing about it is, that I think what that's gonna do to your health in 20 years. 
Right. When things start dropping and popping and start working out of order. And guess what? Everything drops. <laughs> Everything yeah. malfunctions. It's, it's no shelf life on it. You can keep getting it done, but you're always going to be fake. So I, I, I personally don't like it, but um, I'm, I'm not going to disrespect you or discriminate unless it's a bad one. If it's a bad one, uh-uh. Yeah, we're not gonna tell anybody to go out there and and and, and, and do like a full weed protest. But what we mean by that is, uh, you know, for do, for those of us who want to keep seeing our women look like that, then keep dating them and keep encouraging them. For those of us who don't, then don't date them and don't do that and don't encourage it. And for those who are looking for natural natural women, if nothing else, if you can't find any in America, family, come with us to the African continent. Many wonderful and incredible. Incredible countries, family, with wonderful African women that are natural and ready to build a revolution with you. Yeah? So, family, we're going to keep it real, keep it strong, and we're going to head out to our secret mission. <laughs> and we we'll catch you on the next journey of a lifetime. Yes, my brother. Out. <laughs>